There's a new way a growing number of student loan borrowers are getting rid of their student debt. Now, I am not saying this way is for everyone, but the federal government is on board with it and in fact, recently made it easier to get that debt off your back. Turns out more and more borrowers are just filing for bankruptcy. See, I told you this wasn't for everyone, but you may wanna listen to these new rules. Last year, the Biden administration made it easier for student borrowers to apply for bankruptcy to get rid of the debt if the borrower meets certain economic hardship criteria. Now, that is dramatically different from the old bankruptcy rules that were really intrusive and made it really hard and almost impossible to eliminate student debt even if you were able to successfully file for bankruptcy. Student loans for years have been treated differently than other types of debt in bankruptcy court, mostly because back in the 1970s, lawmakers were afraid that students would just rack up student loan debt and then immediately file for bankruptcy when they graduated. So Congress added a stipulation that student loan borrowers had to wait Wait at least five years after they began repaying their loan to file for bankruptcy. But then in the 90s, the waiting period was then extended to seven years. And then the rules changed again about a decade later, requiring that people with federal or private student loans prove that their debt poses an undue hardship to get rid of it through the bankruptcy process. But Congress never spelled out what undue hardship means. So the Biden administration defined it last year. Now, before I get into that definition, just know I will email all of these documents about how this program works from the Department of Justice out to you tonight in my Newsgirl News Roundup email. So make sure you sign yourself up. Now, there aren't a lot of people who are actually taking advantage of these new bankruptcy rules yet, but it's definitely more borrowers than in previous years, and the number keeps growing. The Justice Department says in the first 10 months since the new streamlined bankruptcy process was rolled out, 632 people filed, and in 99% of the cases where courts have entered orders or judgments agreeing to the bankruptcy, the government recommended and the court agreed to a full discharge or partial discharge of the student loan debt. So how do you qualify for your student loan debt to be wiped out through these new bankruptcy rules? So you have to meet three undue hardship criteria. One, you have to prove you currently lack the ability to repay the loan. Two, you have to prove your inability to pay the loan is likely to persist in the future. And three, you have to prove you acted in good faith in the past in attempting to repay the loan. Now, it's really important to understand this is not a magic wand. If you want to go down this bankruptcy road, there are courts and judges, Department of Justice, Department of Education, they all get involved. Plus, there are some serious consequences to filing for bankruptcy. So you really need to think it over, but it is a new option out there.